Hi everyone, let's have another video based on Geometry for Cat series and today it's about quadrilaterals. So if you talk about quadrilaterals, I keep them into three different categories. One type of quadrilateral which doesn't have a particular property. Okay, so what are the concepts that we need to know for a basic quadrilateral? Then second type of quadrilateral which is known as parallelogram. Now, in parallelogram, there are rectangles, then comes the squares and rhombus. And then third type of quadrilateral, which is very important, and it is known as trapezoid or trapezium. So, we are going to learn these quadrilaterals in different part. And in this session, we are going to learn about basic quadrilaterals. So, let's say there is a quadrilateral. A, B, C, D and the side lengths, let's say A, B, C and D. Then what we can say about the relation between these side lengths? So as you must have known the properties regarding side lengths in triangle. So in triangle, what do we say that any side is greater than the absolute difference between other two sides and less than the sum of other two sides. Similarly, in quadrilateral, we can say that any side length is greater than the minimum of the absolute difference between any two sides. Okay, so let's say that uh, what we can say about any side length. So minimum of any difference of any two sides so a minus b then a minus c then b minus c these are three side lengths known to us so the third side must be greater than this okay minimum and the largest side must be less than the Third. So, we can say uh, sum of the rest of the three sides means we can also say that D must be less than A plus B plus C. So, these are the two properties that you should know about the side lengths in a quadrilateral. Now, apart from this, what we can say about quadrilaterals that uh, let's say how do we find the area? So let's say there is a diagonal AC and DE is perpendicular to AC as well as BF is also perpendicular on AC. So how do we find the area? So area of this quadrilateral ABCD will be equal to half of AC into sum of the perpendicular lengths which is DE plus BF. This will be the area of this quadrilateral. Okay. Now, apart from this, there is also another properties in a quadrilateral that we can talk about like if Two of the diagonals of any quadrilateral are perpendicular to each other like this one. AC and BD are perpendicular to each other. Then what we can say that the relation between the side lengths, we can say AB square plus CD square will be equal to BC square plus AD square. So remember this one, <clears throat> apart from this, we can also say that area of quadrilateral ABCD will be half of, half of product of the diagonals, product of diagonals means AC into BD. So these are the basic concepts, basic formula that you need to know regarding any quadrilaterals. Now let's check the questions and try to implement them. 
फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट से लेंथ ऑफ ऑल फोर साइड ऑफ अ क्वार लेटरल आर इन टीजर वैल्यूड इफ थ्री ऑफ इट साइड लेंथ आर टू सेंटीमीटर थ्री सेंटीमीटर एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर देन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ द फोर्थ साइड इज लेट से फोर्थ साइड इज एक्स वॉट वी कैन से एक्स विल बी ग्रेटर देन मिनिमम ऑफ द एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस बिटवीन एनी टू नोन साइड टू थ्री द डिफरेंस इज वन थ्री सिक्स द डिफरेंस इज थ्री सिक्स एंड टू द डिफरेंस इज फोर द मिनिमम डिफरेंस इज वन x must be greater than one, less than sum of the rest of the three sides. Six plus three, nine plus two, eleven. So the fourth side must be greater than one and less than eleven. So we can say this could be two, three, till ten. How many values are these? A total of nine values. So our answer is option C. Now, next question it says. Two sides of a plot measure sixty-four centimeter and forty-eight centimeter, and the angle between them is ninety degree. The other two sides measure fifty centimeter each, and the other three angles are not right angles. Find the area of this quadrilateral. So there is a plot where two sides are perpendicular to each other, and other two sides are not perpendicular to each other. Like this. So let's say this is A, B, C, and D. Now it's given that AB is equal to sixty-four and BC is equal to forty-eight. So can we say triangle ABC will be a right angle? And in that case, using the Pythagoras theorem, forty-eight is twelve into four, sixteen, ah, uh, sixteen into three, forty-eight is. Sixteen into three, sixty-four is sixteen into four. So AC will become sixteen into five, which is equal to eighty. So AC will become eighty, and it's given that the other two sides measure fifty centimeters. So this will be fifty, and this will be fifty. How do we find the area of this quadrilateral? So there is not any direct approach. we will have to find the area of this triangle abc and then triangle area of triangle adc and then we can find out the area of this whole quadrilateral okay now in this triangle if i draw perpendicular to this can i say this will be 40 and this will be 40 now again a let's say this is f afd will become a right angle triangle in this case this will be 30 so we have two right angle triangle or we can say what will be the area of quadrilateral abc area of quadrilateral abc t will be equal to now in this case it will be area of triangle abc plus area of triangle acd so this gives us ABC half into forty-eight into sixty-four plus half into what is base? Base is eighty AC into height is thirty. So this into thirty. Now this will be twenty-four. Twenty-four into four is ninety-six carry nine. Then one forty-four plus nine one fifty-three plus this is fifteen times. So this becomes so twelve hundred, which gives us two seven three six centimeter square. And if you check the options, option D is our answer. Now, next question it says in a quadrilateral ABCD, diagonals AC and BC intersect each other at ninety degree. <coughs> We have just learned this. Concept that in any quadrilateral, if diagonals are perpendicular to each other, just like this. So A, B, C, and D. So diagonals AC and BC intersect each other at ninety degrees. So this angle is ninety degree. AB is given, which is twenty five. BC is given, which is seventeen. CD is given, which is ten. We need to find AD. So what do we know? 
in any quadrilateral if diagonals are perpendicular to each other we can say that ab square plus cd square will be equal to bc square plus ad square or we can say that ad square will be equal to ab square which is 25 square plus cd square which is 10 square minus bc square which is 17 square so from there we can say ad square is equal to 625 plus 100 minus 289 so from there we get ad square is equal to 725 minus 300 is 425 plus 11 436 so we can say ad is equal to square root of 436 now in question it says find the length of ad to the nearest integer now think about this 21 square is equal to 441 and 20 square is equal to 400 can we say that square root of 436 will be closer to 21 rather than 20 okay so we can say this is closest to 21 and our answer is option b <coughs> all right now next question in a quadrilateral abcd diagonals ac and bc intersect each other at 90 degree ac is equal to 28 bd is equal to 22 find the area of the quadrilateral abcd so we already know that in any quadrilateral if diagonals are perpendicular to each other then what is the area we can say area of quadrilateral a b c d is equal to 1 by 2 product of diagonals which is a c into b d so this will be half into a c which is equal to 28 into b d which is equal to 22 this is 11 times 28 into 11 we get 308 centimeter square again which is option c now next question it's a really good question so i would ask you guys you can pause the video and try this question and then check the discussion okay <clears throat> so this question it says a b c d is a quadrilateral with right angles at a and c angle a is right angle angle c is right angle d e and b f are both perpendicular to AC. Find the length of BF. Length of BF if AE is equal to 4 cm, D is equal to 5 cm, and C is equal to 8 cm. Okay. So you can ignore the options here. These options are basically not true. Right. So we need to find the length of BF. Alright. So how do we find the length of BF? Or if you want these answers to be true, you can find the area. This should have been find the area of quadrilateral ABCD. Find the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. If A is equal to 4, D is equal to 5 and C is equal to 8. So how do we solve this one? Let's see. Can we say in this right angle triangle, if this angle is theta, this angle must be 90 degree minus theta, 90 degree minus theta. And so angle A is also 90 degree. If this angle is 90 degree minus theta, this angle will be theta. And in that case, this angle will be 90 degree minus theta right so 90 degree minus theta now can we say these two triangles are similar triangle aed will be similar to triangle abf now in that case what we can say 
that the length has been given length a is 4 means the side length opposite to theta is 4 and ed is equal to 5 so can we say in this case the side length opposite to theta if i take this as 4x then side length opposite to 90 minus theta this will be 5x like this which is nothing but af okay now similarly in rest of the two triangles if i take this angle as alpha this angle will become 90 degree minus alpha and so angle c is 90 degree so this will become alpha and this will become 90 degree minus alpha now check again the side length opposite to alpha is 5 here the side length opposite to alpha this should be corresponding to 5 the side length opposite to 90 degree minus alpha which is ec ec has been given what is ec so ec is 8 so 5 is to 8 this is 5 this is 8 so against alpha if this is 5y this should be 8y right so can we say x is equal to 2y if x is equal to 2y let's remove x from everywhere so this will be 10y and this will be 8y so this is 10y now what will be the length of ac can we say length of ac will be equal to ae plus ed or ac is equal to af is 10y and ecf is 5y we can say 15y is equal to a is given 4 ec is given 8 so this will be 12 or this is 3 into 5 this is 3 into 4 we can say y is equal to 4 upon 5 now if y is equal to 4 upon 5 what we can say about 8y 8y will be equal to 32 upon 5 and what will be the length of ac ac is already given which is 12 can we say the area of quadrilateral a b c d will be equal to half of ac into perpendicular length from opposite vertices which is this will be this is b right this is d so d e plus b f so this will be equal to half into ac is what 12 into what is d d is given which is 5 what is b f b f we got this which is 32 upon 5 so this will become 6 into 25 plus 32 is 57 divided by 5 so from there this is equal to 1.2 times 57 so 12 into 7 is 84 carry 8 12 into 5 60 68 so 68.4 centimeter square and if you check the option option a is our answer so we had recently done similarities so i thought uh, a really good question based on similarity would really help you guys i hope you enjoyed this question right so this is the end of first session on quadrilateral we will be back with the next section next session on quadrilateral very soon so keep watching thank you